In this video, you'll see how to monitor metrics for your containerized applications and microservices using CloudWatch Container Insights. With this service, you can view metrics for individual application components, run queries on application log groups, and set up alarms for anomalies within your metric data. To begin using the service, navigate to it in the CloudWatch Management Console. CloudWatch Container Insights is available for Amazon Elastic Container Service, or Amazon ECS, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, or Amazon EKS, and Kubernetes platforms on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2. You can enable Container Insights for any Kubernetes application set up on EKS by following the instructions and executing the commands outlined in the Quick Start documentation in the Amazon CloudWatch User Guide. For the purposes of this example, Container Insights has already been enabled for an EKS application. To enable Container Insights for a containerized application set up on ECS, you can simply select the checkbox for Container Insights when creating a cluster through ECS. Selecting Enable Container Insights provides access to the full suite of AWS CloudWatch container metrics for the ECS application. You can review the documentation for more details. For our purposes, Container Insights has already been enabled for ECS as well, so let's return to CloudWatch. Let's take a look at the performance monitoring dashboards of CloudWatch Container Insights. Here you can select different components of any applications that have Container Insights enabled and view their corresponding computational and network metrics. You can view different parts of both the ECS and EKS containerized applications. You can also select specific EKS or ECS applications and view their corresponding components. In this case, we only have one EKS application and one ECS application. Let's take a look at the different filters that can be applied to the metrics. From each component group in an application, you can filter different application resource grouping reports and view metrics for each separately or view a composite of several reports. Scroll down to take a look at the containers involved in this report. For each report, you can view the different containers that compose it, the pod which it is a part of, and the namespace it has been grouped into, as well as its average CPU and memory usage metrics. Let's select one of these containers and view the actions that can be performed on it. As you can see, for each container, you have the option to view application and performance logs, as well as AWS X-ray traces. Let's view the application logs for this container. In the Logs Insights view, you can run queries on different log groups that are part of the application. Notice that the log group has been automatically selected for this application, and the query has been tailored to the container we selected in the Performance Monitoring view. Let's run the query and see the logs associated with that specific container. Let's take a closer look at the first of the logs returned by the query. Each log returns data about its timestamp, message data, and container information, among other fields which may be generalized or specific to the container it reports from. Let's look at the message field returned by this log entry. Next, let's close out and return to Container Insights. In Container Insights, you can also view a list of resources associated with your containerized applications. These are the resources associated with all of the container applications for which Container Insights is enabled. Let's look up resources associated with WordPress and the EKS Kubernetes application. As you can see, the search returned an EKS service, pod, and namespace, all of which are associated with the WordPress application running in the Kubernetes cluster. Select the EKS service. Selecting a component provides links to view its log entries and performance monitoring dashboard. Let's take a look at the dashboard associated with this service. Notice that the performance monitoring dashboard associated with the EKS service also provides a link to the pod associated with the service. As with the container earlier, you can view logs associated with this pod by clicking the Actions button. You can also run queries on log groups for this pod. As you can see, the log query has been specified to return log entries associated with the WordPress application. And you can see more specific information relating to the WordPress application and origin repository from the log messages. 
log results generated by queries in the Logs Insights view can also be exported and downloaded locally. Close out of Logs Insights. Container Insights performance data can also be used with CloudWatch metrics. Various container metrics can be tracked in the CloudWatch metrics view for a number of different resources. Let's find and select a service associated with the Kubernetes WordPress application. On the All Metrics tab, each metric has a separate entry. Let's select the entry for the Pod Network Byte Transfer metric. Let's switch to the Stacked Area chart. You can enable anomaly detection for a selected metric, allowing you to easily observe data points that fall outside the expected range of values for a given metric. You can also create a CloudWatch alarm, which will send an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, notification whenever the tracked metric goes outside of the expected value range. From here, you can create an SNS topic and subscribe to notifications for this metric. You can also add this metric to the CloudWatch dashboard for easy access. For our purposes, let's return to CloudWatch. Finally, you can view logs related to your containerized applications from the Log Groups section of CloudWatch. Here you can see the different groups the Container Insights has categorized your resources into for querying. Let's select the log group associated with the main application. Here you can see the different log streams in the application log group. Select a log stream associated with the WordPress application. Here, you can see information very similar to the logs we queried manually. You can also filter log events by different parameters in the search bar, select a time range for the logs listed, perform actions on the log entries listed, or create a metric filter to show only logs associated with a certain range of metric values. You've just seen how to monitor metrics for your containerized applications and microservices using CloudWatch Container Insights. With this service, you can view metrics for individual application components, run queries on application log groups, and set up alarms for anomalies within your metric data. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.